नमस्कार एंड वेलकम वी आर एट वर्ल्ड हिंदू कांग्रेस एंड विद मी इज मिस्टर अनुकूल पटेल डायरेक्टर ऑफ एडवांसमेंट हिंदू यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ अमेरिका वेलकम थैंक यू व्हाट इज द व्हाट इज द रीजन बिहाइंड ओपनिंग अ हिंदू यूनिवर्सिटी इन अमेरिका एंड व्हाई देयर वाज अ नीड ऑफ दिस यूनिवर्सिटी वेल एज अ हिंदू इन अमेरिका अम इट फील्स लाइक द नीड हैज बिकम सो क्लियर इन सो मेनी डिफरेंट कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑब्वियसली अ पॉलिटिकल कल्चरल अ रिप्रेजेंटेटिव बट आल्सो अम from the religious perspective from the spiritual perspective from the dharmic perspective we see that there's a gap there's a the british did not just colonize the land right they colonized our mind and before that the caliphate the muslim conquerors they didn't just again control the land and the people they tried to erase our civilization and convert us yeah. and so there's kind of a fourfold mission it's restoration it's stewardship it's interrogation and seva right of the hindu dharma of yeah. restoring we don't even know what we lost right and once we have that how do we steward it how do we keep it safe how do we continue to share it with the next generation and then interrogate it what is the actual depth of it what does it mean how do we apply it to our daily lives how can it be beneficial to us and to the next generation and then the seva how do we actually serve and pay so it forward so on a wider perspective what all education essentials does the hindu university aim to address well from we have like kind of five major areas of study right starting with um history and methods right what were the, what actually happened in the history and what was the methods that the british and the europeans used to um not just convert and colonize but then to uh, co-op so what are specific courses are you running in your university which is different from other international universities yeah so from the history and methods then you can go on to the post colonial hindu studies so we have a whole area of study on what does it mean that and uh, j saidipa talks about uh decolonization right how do we actually get there so there's specific courses in that framework we have a whole series of programs uh on sanskritam we have the bhagavad gita through sanskritam we have a masters program in sanskritam we have devanagari script because there's something like 40 million sanskrit manuscripts we don't even know what's there and what's not we have a yoga studies we have a texts and traditions so in terms of the texts and the traditions we have a library of itihasa of scriptures and what uh what can we extrapolate from there what can we use from there how can we learn and share from there so with those areas of studies and we're going to be adding ayurveda as an area of study because that's another one like of these it must be added it yeah. must be added yeah. and, and 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 coming from america yeah. we know the health situation the cost of yeah. uh healthcare now it's reactive right it's so surgery and america pills scrambled during covid Yeah. It's surgery and pills as opposed to preventative and holistic. And so in all of these ways we know Hindu thought, Indic knowledge system, Bharatiya knowledge systems has a lot to offer across the board. Like what is the impact of Hindu University of America on an American in a wider perspective in understanding Indic uh, culture? I think I'm the best example of this. Like even before I before I joined Hindu University of America, I had no clue I had an inkling, I had an idea, we have an ancient civilization, there's a lot of knowledge, but becoming so involved with Hindu University of America, I've realized and now I can actually map out and see we have this depth of knowledge on this topic. We have this uh swami or guru or expert or itihaso or shastra or uh scripture on this subject that we can now bring into the modern age and apply it still. that's timeless wisdom for turbulent times yeah. what are steps the university is taking so that the indic or hindu education is accessible and relevant in a long time yeah that is at the core of our mission right because if we're just sitting on this inheritance of ancient hindu wisdom and knowledge and not using it we're wasting it and so at that level we're digging deep into all of those aspects and applying it again across the board it be economics or environment or health or language the diversity of thought is a benefit and a strength that we're paying for and sharing can you elaborate your educational system and how it is different from other universities like what are what are you offering so 
every single one of our programs is coming from a dharmic perspective yeah. rooted in that. I don't know if there's Have anywhere. Have you adopted the Gurukul culture? Yeah, well, it's, it's basically embedded in the way that we have the, the Shiksha Parampara, the, uh, yeah, parampara. the, the lineage yeah. and then the Guru Shiksha relationship yeah. where you have the dialogue, you have the connection, you have the engagement and the thought that goes into it. It's not just memorization. Like and how many Americans are currently studying in Hindu University? We have a, or from different backgrounds, different religions. Yeah, yeah. We have a diversity of folks. Of course, the, the vast majority tend to be... Uh, of Indian Indians, descent, yeah. but something like 20% of our population is international, so 80% from America, but we have a, a judge in Brazil, we have a Japanese person learning Sanskritam, yeah. we have bunches of students in Australia and New Zealand and yeah. different places where uh, the, indig the, the Indian people who, however they got there, yeah. are interested in connecting with their roots and rediscovering and understanding that the Girmitya countries right the Indo-Caribbean folks the Mauritius Fiji we have a lot of people there who are looking to India to Bharat for inspiration and wondering how they can tap into those roots how can they learn about it and then they see Hindu University of America how do you see the future of Hindu University so we're aiming and building Hindu University of America to last a thousand years right in terms of a, a a steward for Hindu Dharma, civilization, culture that's going to carry forward, it's going to grow, it's going to compete uh, intellectually in the public sphere. Not just compete, but at least share our ideas uh, when it's necessary. In times of crisis, in conflict, in public forums, we're at the World Hindu Congress now where the seven tracks, obviously, yeah. there's so much application of Hindu thought in the modern world, and we are a bridge for that. Like, uh, how do you see this World Hindu Congress 2023 and what are your takeaways from this? This has been exciting to see the diversity of Hindus from around the world here in Bangkok, yeah. Thailand, uh, connected with people from Singapore to yeah. Malaysia to Burma to England to Scotland. Especially I have met many Americans here. Yeah. Yeah. And, and seeing this 2023 World Congress, again, in that timeline, right? We had the 2018 Congress in, in uh, Chicago, yeah. before that in Mumbai, yeah. and... Uh, in we Delhi. It was in Delhi. It was in Delhi. Yeah. Not Mumbai? No, it, is, it was in Delhi. And so seeing that trajectory, it is clear yeah. that the confidence, the power, the capacity, and the willingness of the Hindu community to show up and show out, to put in resources, yeah. to then bring the next generation and then again coming from america seeing how the previous generation of hindus in america really built the foundation right financial stability engineers and doctors and professions uh, uh that made money yeah. and were stable versus this next generation where we're having a lot more artists and musicians and writers and political folks and lawyers and influencers in these other cultural spaces and i i see that also as the Hindu community grows globally, right? Yeah. Getting out of colonization, gaining independence, shaking off the <laughs> the tryst with destiny and Nehru's misinterpretation yeah. of Hinduism, and now going forward, looking forward at the Indian century, right? Oh. The Hindu century, yeah. the Bharatiya century, and how the Vishwaguru, <laughs> Vishwaguru is where we're aiming at. And we see it, we see in this multipolar world versus the Chinese authoritarianism and expansionism and undemocratic nature, the adharmic nature of American capitalism and the way that that leads to a decline in morality and culture in a lot of ways. And then seeing European civil, the European content also decline in their material uh, comfort because how did they get there in the first place? It was through extraction. And so slowly but surely that's returning yeah. and i'm happy and proud to be a part of it and i think this world hindu congress is just one point yeah. in that trajectory uh rss hss sangha is a part of that the hindu ecosystem yeah. as is hindu university of america and we all have our role to play right as hindus yeah. we know diversity is important we all have our own role to play our station in life but we can also aspire for more we can do more we can engage not just ourselves and our community, our next generation, but also take it outwards. And I think that's what this yeah. shit, and why, why are we in Thailand, right? Why are we here go, looking outward uh, as Hindus? Because looking inward is obviously 
fundamental to Hinduism and Sanatana Dharma and, and understanding ourselves, right? But once you understand yourself, and I think we're, it's, it's, it's a circular kind of position where once you understand yourselves and what service you have to do, what seva you have to do, what, what's missing, right? You started this by asking me, why do we need a Hindu yeah. University of America? What's going on? Because right now, India I just doesn't have a Hindu University. The Gurukuls are not here. I feel it's so obvious yeah. now, yeah. but four years ago, at the start of it, I was kind of wondering the same thing. So I think it's one of those things that's self-reinforcing. It builds the foundation, and the more you know, the more you realize you don't know, and the community needs to know, and not just our community, lots of communities, every community, the world. Thanks, thanks for speaking to organizers. My yeah. pleasure, my yeah. pleasure to speak to the yeah. organizer. Thank you. Keep up the good work organizing yeah. for the Hindu community. Namaste, Namaste. Namaste.